All right, guys, how's it going? For this video, we're doing something a little bit different. We had our good friends Bobby and his brother-in-law in town. We didn't, I didn't talk to the camera much. Wind was bad, and we were too busy hunting, just having a good time. So I'm gonna do a voiceover. So our first morning, here we go. Turkeys are firing off. You listen closely and enjoy. I hope you guys can hear them. It was unbelievable the amount of turkeys in the area this morning. We were right in the middle of all of them. Fog rolled in, which is what which kept the turkeys out of. We were right next to a big alfalfa field and on a hay field. And when the fog rolled in, all the birds would stay in the woods as turkeys are gobbling behind us. They were very vocal in the morning, and then they shut off about an hour into the morning. So what happened here is we had two big toms come up behind us, and they got about 50 yards from us, but none of us could turn around and they got hung up so we went from the leave we got we turned around this is right behind where we were set up we left the decoys and everything we got set up overlooking the direction that they were in started calling to them seeing if we could get them to come back and do what they did earlier in the morning they never showed up so we went back to the truck and this is what happened Yeah, but I think it'd be a really long way to crawl. That looks like a dark bird. It seems like he's got, it seems like the right bird's got a big beard. We have the property on the other side of that tree line, but I don't think we could get there even with the truck fast enough. Oh. Truck will bother them if we drive out of here. I mean, it might make them. I don't. I really don't know. I don't think so. If we don't stop, and we, I don't. I don't know. I know somebody walking across there. Wouldn't. Oh yeah, yeah. No, driving would be better than walking. I just don't know. And it's not gonna. It's not gonna spook them, but it might make them go into the woods. So you know. Yeah, if you could get up to the road. And yeah, we can just we can just drive out and just kind of just watch them what they do. If, well, let's go try something. Wish we so we end up getting around them and trying to reap them. Uh, when we got up to where they could see us, they were already working back towards the field. We tried to cut them off, and we were unsuccessful. This was later in the morning. We're trying some different spots. We just couldn't get another bird to gobble, even though we were pretty confident there was birds in the area. They just shut off. We went back, had some lunch that evening, went back to the place where we were this morning, set up on the main alfalfa field where we'd seen birds the evening before. And uh, it wasn't very long before we had some act. So there was actually a big blind, as you can see, we're filming through it. But it's got very small windows, and it's very hard to see and shoot out of, especially for shotgun. So we decided to, to stay in the tree line so we'd be a little more mobile. As soon as these birds got were coming out into the field, a huge rain, a heavy rainstorm, it didn't last very long, but came in and soaked us and made the birds scurry back into the wood line. These birds are probably 400 yards or so. As you can see, the rain picked up and they went back to cover. A little while later, the rain cleared and we had some action coming from our left. This was a, a bearded hen. I get in front of her, waiting for her to show back up. She didn't like something. We're not. We're still to this day not sure what it was. We think it's something with her decoys, and she took off behind her. A little while later, this other hen came up. And there was actually the, probably the same two toms were right next to her. 
or were coming behind her, and then she didn't like something either. And there goes our toms feeding their way off into the distance. Just couldn't catch a break today. Finally, when things were starting to look good, Tim was on our right, was gave us a signal that the birds, the birds were coming in. This is me trying to get them on film. They're running across this alfalfa field right now. I can't tell us by the tree. I have a tree in the way. Unfortunately, they turned out to be Jake's. But they did it right. If you guys like or dislike this whole voiceover thing, make sure you let me know in the comments below because I don't mind doing it or not doing it, but I figured do something different and Rain picked up again, and that was the end of our evening. The following morning, we hunted a spot where I know very well, and the birds actually roosted right above us. I'm surprised they even still came in. No gobbles were hurt this morning at all. Uh, as you can see, these are a bunch of jakes. There ended up being, I think, 18 jakes and three hens that came into the field this morning. Uh, never saw a gobbler. It was pretty crazy how well these jakes were full strut. course like Jake's often do they came right in it's pretty cool to see so many young birds in the area And this pair of coyotes came out and ruined the morning rather quickly. Figured we'd try to call them in, and they had not, they decided to chase after a couple of deer instead of coming to us. This one had a broken or hurt back right leg. That was kind of interesting. Didn't seem to slow them down much though. So after the coyotes took off, we decided that we didn't hear a single gobble, that all those jakes from the area and the coyotes came through. We figured there wasn't much sense staying there anymore. So we went back and we we're going to make our loop and we made our loop. We saw a group of like seven or eight toms and a few and like probably just as many hens working their way towards a creek. So we turned around, we got way ahead of them, parked by the creek, hopped in the creek. I thought I filmed some, but I, apparently I didn't. We followed the creek as far as we could go until the water got too deep. We hopped the bank across the creek from them and we were trying to get to basically where we are right now and this is where they were headed. So as soon as we got into this little clearing and we're using reaping fans, we see this group of birds in the far end of this field. So we were on a little rise, the perfect situation. We had two fans and there's three of us. We got our bellies and we eased up over this little berm. And uh, of course we got on top of the berm. This is what happened, this is what we saw. And I'll let the story unfold from here. Stay low. Oh, you know, there's three jakes, four jakes, five jakes, six jakes. Wait, I think they're all jakes. I don't think this is the right birds. And they're running, but I don't see a. I don't see a single tom. This is how this works. No, these are all jakes. It's pretty kind of funny. I don't think you have to fill your tag if it's self defense. Let's see what the ones that we saw from the road. Uh, again, a lot of jakes, and they worked in perfectly. The one bird that stayed behind was a nice tom, unfortunately. These jakes are probably five to seven yards away from us right now, just to give you a, an idea of distance. Trying to get the Tom's attention, but he wasn't going to leave. 
his hands. Uh, yeah. What's on those other targets? There's one big tom on the far right. I think the rest are hands, or maybe Jake's. I can't tell. Oh, here they are. Here they are. To our right. To our right. You see them? Big birds. Big birds. Where? To the right, right on the stage. Yeah, they're fucked up. Yeah. They're coming, they're coming down the bottom. How close are they, Dale? Oh, I can't make it. Yeah, 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 That's a tom. Those are all toms. Yep. Had to cut the audio a little bit here. The wind was acting up as it normally does here in Kansas. They're all big birds. Shoot left, he shoots right. Tell me when. Nice! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good shooting. Good spot. You're like, you're like to the right, to the right. I was like, what? And then I had to look away to the right. I shot that one in the body when he took off running. Yeah, I saw him just poof. I shot him one-handed, you see that? Yeah. Hey, well, you said take him. I was like, why aren't you shooting? <laughs> you should have let him come right to us. Yeah, I was going to, but I, I was well, trying to get out here in this open. And see yeah. The, the problem is with this, these bullets, the pattern yeah, they get so close, tight. It's so freaking I, I didn't want them in our toenails. No. The, the, those jakes were right that here. Was, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I got it all on film. Oh, I think he shot the beard off that one a little bit. Yeah, he definitely did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, are they good or bad? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Looks like it's an old bird. Look yeah. at that. Those are all worn down. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Look at the, the second bird I shot one handed. <laughs> I was laying the fan down and he shot and I went, You <laughs> said shoot him? Yeah, I said shoot. I said, I can't hear you. And you said shoot. I said, Oh, hey. <laughs> He was like, he was like, he, he was like, I'm gonna shoot the half strut, and you're like, I don't hear him. I go, he shoots left, you shoot right. <laughs> I, I moved from the middle one over to the come middle. Right, right, no, right here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Red bead on him and pulled the trigger. Yeah. You know what? I was sick. expecting him to stay calm, but them, they didn't. They got out of dodge. Yeah. 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 I was like, I shot mine, and he dropped. I was like, come on, attack him. Nope. They were gone. Yeah. And this one was going stage right, and I was like, swing, swing, swing. Pow. I should have, well, I guess I was filming, but I should have held both your fans as fans. If yeah. I could hold both your fans, because when you dropped your fans, when they jumped. Yeah, because I, I had to let go. Yeah. Hell yeah. No, I think I, I think I got like really good foot. Yeah, was that 15 yards, 20 yards maybe? Yeah, maybe. I was like, I think they're in range. You both go. They're in range. They're in range for me. Yeah. Yeah. Right shot them I figured. That's why. I was, yeah. Yeah. So I wasn't too worried. At 40 yards, my pattern is yeah. that big. It, I mean, it has put almost 400 pellets in a 10 inch circle. Yeah, it's crazy. See, I'm, but it's, when you're when you're looking through the fan, distance is so yeah. hard to judge. Yeah. yeah. When I came up over there and I saw those birds, I was like, Oh, we got them! And then they all start coming. I go, Shit, Jake, 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 Jake. I go, What? Right. I mean, it looks just worn down yeah. and. Yeah. Well, it's it's the terrain too, because. Yeah. yeah. But that's the. Birds. I mean, that's a typical Rio. Oh. Chop Old there. Bobby shot his half his beard off. Yeah, yeah. Look at the strutter and see he's got uh, he's a two or two and two maybe a three I guess. Yeah. Probably a two. Yeah. See how fast. But mine's a year older than that. But yeah. he was the strutter. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. But look at the yeah. You did, damn you, hoot. Yeah, he's probably out the year. Yeah. <laughs> probably a state freaking record. Yeah, he come out. <laughs> <laughs>
Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one.